Hey everyone, welcome to Princess of Gay. I'm your host, Connie, and today we are here with a first impressions reaction to Isekai Oji-san. So, from what I've gathered of this anime, it is about some dude's uncle is put into a coma for 20 years, but during that coma, his spirit is sent to another world. But the series actually follows what happens after he wakes up and returns to this world. At which point, they make a YouTube channel? <laughs> like, that that's kind of what I've gotten from this. Um, I don't know all the details. I don't know how it goes down. I don't know, like, if we see anything from that other world. Um, I, I've seen a couple visuals of the series, like what the uncle looks like. A and I, I saw, like, one poster or whatnot, and it's like... He like has this like creepy kind of face and everything and, and i thought this was like going to end up being something creepy and weird and it still might be but when i heard the i guess general plot i wanted to at least check it out at least give it a chance see what it's like to um to see if maybe it's just really stupidly funny because I've seen plenty of shows like that where it's just, it's it's so fucking stupid. But it's really funny because of it. Um, and I, I actually don't know if this is supposed to be a comedic series. I, I assume so, based on the premise. Or if it's supposed to be more like a typical isekai. Maybe a little of both. Um, again, I don't know, like, if we spend much of any time within the other world or whatnot. Um, but, I, but I'm interested. I, I'm interested to see what this is like, to see what this is about. This is one I, I've heard people talk about and mention, but not a lot. There's other ones that have come out recently that I've heard a lot more buzz about. Um, stuff like Bochi the Rock and whatnot. But this one... I've just heard mentioned, basically. But, like I said, I'm willing to give it a chance, see what it's like. And hell, if we don't like it, we just don't have to continue it. That's kind of the point of these first impressions reactions. Um, it's just to give it a shot and we continue if we want to. Um, it's just something I thought I'd check out for the fun of it, for the, for the shits and giggles, basically. So, uh, let's just get into it and, I guess, hope for the best. Hope that it's actually really funny or something. Uh, so, when the screen fades to black, pause this redirect and go to the description below. Follow the link to the reaction, and after you watch it, come back here to the redirect and resume play. Because after it fades to black, then it fades back in. Everything from that point forward will be my afterthoughts and will contain spoilers to the episode. So, that being said, thank you so much for tuning in, and I will see you at the reaction. And we are back, and we'll begin with spoilers in 3, 2, 1, now. This is not something I'm going to be reacting to on the channel. Um, and not because it was bad, because I, I don't think it was. It wasn't bad, but it wasn't anything great either. I would say that this is just kind of in the middle for me, just kind of uh, meh. Um, because there's there's some good things about it. There's some genuinely good comedy. The idea is very fun and unique. But there's also some things about it that are a little cringy. That are, that are just a bit hard to watch. And, and I, I assume that's the point... Like, it's supposed to be that kind of humor, but I... Mm, it's not for me. Um, and so I, I get a very mixed feeling on it. Like, for example, the, the constant, like, stuff with him misunderstanding the Sundere girl and everything is cringy as fuck. It's really cringe. Um... But the stuff about him just not understanding modern technology and stuff, I like that. That's good. 
um, the entire recurring joke that seems to be a thing about like how he was mistaken for like an orc or something because he's ugly and everything even though he looks I guess semi-normal it's like that that joke just doesn't work it's just not good and it's very it's very cringy it's very hard to watch every time because it, it it just keeps hammering it in it's like when he rescued that girl and her brothers or whatever and like she thought like he was an orc or something and like was gonna sacrifice herself for for her two brothers sake it's like what the fuck is happening what the actual fuck it, it's like i i don't think that's funny it, are there people who would think that's funny I don't get the humor in that. I don't understand why the idea of a guy being treated as if he's so ugly he's mistaken for a monster is funny. Like, why is that a type of humor? He's not even that ugly. Like, yeah, he makes some, like, weird faces every now and again. And I did say in my pre-thoughts that it's like I saw like uh, some screenshots of him like making creepy faces or, or whatnot. Um, but I had no context or anything and like just saw like a couple screenshots basically. But seeing like as a whole, he's not ugly or anything. Like is, is he supposed to be? Is he supposed to be drawn as an ugly character? Because he's not. He's normal looking. <laughs> Like, he's 34, right? Because he was 17 when he got isekai'd, and he'd been in there for 17 years, right? Meaning he would be 34. He's, he's not ugly. He, he looks maybe a little older than 34, I, I would say he looks like he's more in his, like, mid to late 40s. But I wouldn't say he's ugly. I would not say that at all. Uh... I just... I don't know. I don't know. It's just, I, I just don't find that funny. And, and, and unfortunately, a lot of the jokes, especially regarding the other world, were centered around that. I like the idea that he can somehow still use magic in this world. That's neat. I don't know how that works. But that's neat. But certain aspects of this are just really uncomfortable. And because of that, it's, it's, it's very mixed for me. And it's something that I just, I wouldn't want to continue reacting to specifically. Maybe I'll continue watching it on my own time. But it's not something that I want to, you know, put forth effort into recording videos on. Um, I don't know. Maybe it would get better, but yeah. <laughs> Again, the concept is great. The concept of, like, life after Isekai is a really fun idea. And even him having to readjust to 17 years of new technologies and whatnot is really, really entertaining. Because I've seen that kind of thing before, where a person is like, oh, they've either traveled through time or been in a coma for a long time or, or, or something like that, where they're 
out of time and they have to adjust to modern technologies and ideas and stuff. Um, there was a Brendan Fraser movie um, like that, except he wasn't like, he didn't time travel or anything. He grew up in a fallout bunker his entire life um, because his his parents thought like uh, nuclear bombs were being dropped when he was like a kid. So they all went into the bunker and it ended up living there for like, I, don't know, I think it was like 20 years or something. And so when he finally came out, he had to adjust to the modern world that he wasn't prepared for like at all. Um, it was, it was a pretty fun movie. But, yeah, it's like, I, I'm, I'm fine with that kind of stuff. It's just, there were some things that were just not my kind of humor. I guess, but just bothered me. Um, and just, like, was really just cringy, and it's like, and, and, and it's, I don't even use that term that often. It's rare for me to actually find something that I would consider cringy. Because, like, I, I've he I hear a lot of other people use that all the time. And and the stuff they're describing, it's like, that that's not that bad. <laughs> it, it, it's like, most of the time, it's like people overuse that word. And it's like what you're describing, like maybe I, I mean maybe it's cringy for you. Everyone's different, but I I don't understand why it's cringy for you. It just makes no sense to me. So it's one of those few times that I I do actually find something cringy about it though. And I've mentioned before, like I'm not even big into Sundarays and stuff, so it's like that entire thing, yeah, I would already not do a lot for me. Um, there are only certain Sundere characters I can stand. And funny enough, when the ones that I can stand, I usually end up really like. <laughs> but then most Sundere's I don't. Um, it's it, it's weird like that. It's like I either really like them or I really can't stand them. <laughs> there is almost never a middle ground for Sundere's for me. And again, it's mostly the not liking them. Um, the the likes of like Tatsumaki from One Punch Man are rare for me. Where it's like, oh, this character is a tsundere, but I absolutely adore them and they're my favorite character in the series. <laughs> or Beatrice uh, from ReZero is another great example. But yeah, it's like this, this girl in this, uh, from what we've seen, is so generic as well. Like such a generic ass tsundere and it's like, Oh, I hate it so much. And, and again, the humor surrounding it and surrounding him, again, being quote-unquote ugly in the other world is just, it's so cringe. It's so uncomfortable. It, like, legitimately makes me want to recoil into my body. I want to, like, go turtle or something and just, like, duck my head into my neck. I hate it so much. I, I hate it. Uh, but that's the point of a first uh, impressions reaction. To get a feel for a series and determine if it is something I would want to react to. I heard about this series. I saw some screenshots. I wanted to check it out. And it's, again, very mixed for me. Um, based on this first episode. Maybe it gets better and less cringy, but... <sighs> Excuse me. It's not something I want to react to right now. I, I don't think I would enjoy reacting to it. So, let me know in the comments below, what do you think of Isekai Ochi-san? And for the time being, I'm Connie and I'm signing off. See y'all next time.